So in this video, I'm super excited because we are gonna talk about seven small things, hacks if you will, that are gonna save you big when it comes to money, time, and space in your RV. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. So real quick, in case you're watching this video on our channel for the very first time, my name is Charity. My husband, Ben, and our family have been living RV life for five years now. We've made a few mistakes along the way, found some really cool hacks, like some of the ones we're gonna show you today, and made a few upgrades. So the purpose of this channel is to both educate and entertain you when it comes to all things RV living and family travel, and we like to keep it real. So we always like to put a blooper reel at the end, and people tell us in the comments, that's one of their favorite parts, so you'll have to make sure you stay tuned for those. All right, so hack number one, I picked up two things from our local Dollar Tree. Now, this is actually meant to be like a plate organizer for the cupboard, and these over-the-cabinet door towel racks I have found so many uses for, but a new little hack that I recently discovered is to actually use these in conjunction with each other. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this over-the-cabinet towel bar and we're gonna put it on our lower cabinet door down here. So this plate holder just goes over over this bar here like this, and then can load up foil. Got some sandwich bags here. The nice thing about these is you can actually bend them a little bit, and so for RVing, they stay nice and secure because this is actually gripping it pretty well. So I've got some more Ziploc bags down there, and now, I have got this stored down and out of the way and it's opened up cabinet space in another cabinet. So pretty slick little hack with just two products from the Dollar Tree, total cost $2.50. So hack number two is using disposable food trays for things like meals, snacks, especially on travel days when we're not able to make a full meal and we're just eating things more like a charcuterie plate or something like that. This is my new go-to. So these ones I got on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below, but it's nice because they're actually kind of like slightly wax lined. So you can put things in here that have liquid. I wouldn't like just put soup or something in it, but something that has liquid, you don't have to worry about actually soaking through to the paper bottom. And they're disposable, they're biodegradable, so you can just pitch it in the trash when you're done. But these are a lifesaver, especially on those travel days or while boondocking when you need to conserve water and be able to just throw something away versus washing dishes. So hack number three is to actually get what I like to call RV size appliances. Now, this is anything that's kind of on the more mini scale. So I actually, for the RV, got the smaller version of the Instant Pot, so it's a little bit more compact. Things like a miniature waffle maker, they actually have mini type blenders that you can purchase on Amazon. So those appliances that we have for RV life, when they're on that smaller scale, it's usually just the four of us anyway, I don't need something big, but they save on space, which means that we can bring everything that we need to bring. So hack number four is using anti-skid shelf paper. Now this works great for cabinets, but one of my favorite uses for this, and this roll I actually picked up at the Dollar Tree, so $1.25 for this, is I'll actually cut it into strips like this, and then I will actually leave things on our counter during travel days because when I have got this down here and then we set something on top of it like this, it is not gonna slide off the counter on travel days. It stays there. Now, one of the things that we keep on counters a lot are cases of bottled water. So especially with those being a little bit heavier, a little bit of this underneath, they are going nowhere. But for cabinets, for any place where you're gonna have that shifting that can happen. This is a lifesaver. So speaking of hacks, in the last five years of living RV life, we've used a couple of different options for a grill. Now, we started off with a portable Coleman grill that felt 
pretty cheap and just wasn't the most compact when it came to storing it away. Then of course, when the Blackstone griddle became all the rage, we decided to go with one of those too. The only thing is it's pretty large, it's heavy and cumbersome to haul around. So we decided to ditch that too and just cook inside. Well, the only problem with that was is we'd be out for an evening stroll at the campground and the smells of other campers grilling would be filling the air and it just made Ben really, really sad. So we wanted the option for grilling, but didn't want to have to haul around something heavy. Then there was something else. We love camping at national forests and state park campgrounds, and it's always fun to have a fire and cook some burgers or hot dogs. But have you ever noticed that the grates that they put over most of these fire pits mean that either your burgers are going to become flame charred or not get enough heat because the grate height isn't adjustable to move food farther away from or closer to the fire. This is where we're super excited when we learned about the OT folding and packable grill. Now this folding grill packs up in a super compact bag and stores away in the RV easily and it sets up in minutes. You can use either charcoal or wood to cook out and have that juicy burger brought hot dogs and much more. It comes with a fire safe mat to use on a tabletop and has been the perfect solution to our grill dilemma. As a side note, when we use our OC with charcoal or wood, we don't even have to use lighter fluid, but we use our all natural fire starters instead. And with the OC grill, you can adjust the cooktop height to just the perfect height to get the perfect burger or hot dog that's not, well, you know, like charcoal. Right now you can save 10% on the OT grill by using the code grateful fourth at checkout, which we'll have that below as well as a link that you can visit to get an OT for yourself. So hack number five is actually improvising some products to create a slim line trash can. Now, most of these RV bathrooms are extremely small. There is not a lot of room for a traditional trash can, especially a trash can that kind of has a more of a round bottom. So what we have got going on in here is this little trash can here. Well, this is actually a letter holder, magazine rack, what have you from, you guessed it, the Dollar Tree. Now, what I did with this particular jobby because it was pink, not really a fan of pink, I actually spray painted this white. So we've got this here, keep an extra bag down there, but you just put in a plastic bag from the grocery store or whatever as your trash can liner right next to the toilet and voila, you have a slimline trash can for your RV bathroom. Now, I will say this also works in those other tight spots in RVs, say bedrooms where you have got a bed close to a wall or other types of spaces where there's not a lot of space, but it'd be handy to have a trash can there. So hack number six is actually using these S hooks for closet organization. Now, I get these on Amazon in a pretty large package, so they're pretty cost effective. I'll put a link in the description below. But pretty much what we've got going on here is we are just going to go ahead and hang these in our closet area. And then this works amazing to be able to hang up things like hats. You can even use it to hang up things like backpacks or purses or just so many uses. But one of my favorite uses for this is for ball caps because that way they are up and out of the way. Super easy to just kind of see them at a glance when they're hanging up in the closet as well. Plus we still have plenty of room for clothing, everything else, just a great organizational tool in general. All right, so hack number seven is a hack that I just recently learned about. Now, I have been using a tool called the Lily Brush to clean animal hair out of our carpet. It works amazing. Got it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. But I just recently found out that this squeegee from the Dollar Tree is supposed to do the exact same thing. So we're gonna actually test it out right now for hack number seven, and we're gonna see how well that this gets up the dog hair that is in the carpet. Ooh. Wow. It's actually, look at that. It's amazing. Look at that Dang. for $1.25. This, I would say does just as good as the Lily Brush. So if you need to order the Lily Brush, great, but $1.25 at the Dollar Tree for hack number seven. There you go. Boom. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> Be like, ta da! Ta -da. <laughs> All right.
What did we say? We were on five? Yes. Okay. So hack number six is actually using these little, hold on, let me start over. It was all stuck together. Nice. Okay, ready? Okay. okay. Actually using these S hooks to organize things in the closet. Hook. Were you seriously? Hook. That was, that was really good enunciation. Because that way, it fell down. I think you have a ball cap problem. No, I don't. This is not a problem. It's my collection. It's my collection. Kind of like a shoe collection. Look, I even have more. There's more back here. Look, but wait. Oh, I know there's more. There, there's, there's more. There's like two on the dash of the car. <laughs> what can I say? I like my hats. Hold on. Make sure that my tummy bulge is not showing. Okay. No, there's no tummy bulge. Please. Stop it. All right, ready? I was born ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Shh, shh. All right. All right. So let's go, let's go ahead and film. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Stop it! <laughs> I was born ready. All right. So hack yep. number. So hack number. Yep. Stop. All right. All right. All right. Seriously. Okay. I'll. Okay. This is what you're doing. This is what you need to do, okay? <laughs> so you'll have to let me know in the comments below what are some of the RV hacks that you have found that you've been using or that you've seen being used. We absolutely love hearing from the RV community and it's a great way that we can all share with each other as well. Now I'm gonna put a whole playlist right up here of videos that we have done with more hacks and organization tips. These are our most popular videos ever. So I know you're gonna wanna take a look at that whole entire playlist. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll see you in the next video.